Hey guys, you're watching official Xenolab tutorials and this video tutorial how to operate with variables in Xenoposter. In the previous video you learned how to initialize variable and in this video you'll need this knowledge and also you learn something new. As you can see on my desktop the test project is opened so you should create either new project by clicking this button either open or already existed as I did. So we start again from initializing variable in our project by clicking this icon. So we get variables control. Let's call our variable counter. It's gonna be number. Let's initialize it by one. Okay. Then we go to toolbar and in the data category of actions we have variables processing. Let's drag it to our project, like you want, and double click on it to edit. Ok, we have drop down box to select an action. We can set value, increase count, low count. Basically our variable counter already has value, it's 1, so we don't need that action, but if you want to change the value of variable, you can use it like set value, write value here and choose the name of verbal counter for instance. But we won't do that because our variable is already has value, it's one. We will select another action, it's increase counter. It means our value one will be increased on the value that we put here. For instance, if we put here 1, it's gonna be like 1 plus 1. If we put here 2, it's gonna be like 1 plus 2. So let's check it in debug to get it more clear. Now we can close it and close variables control. Then we should connect our start when we highlight it, we get this green circle. We just click and move our mouse with this line and connect with the first actions we want to execute. Ok, then we click Run Debug. In the variables control in Debug we can follow the changes of our variables. As you can see, after first action executed, we get value of counter 3. So it was 1, the initialized value, plus 2 here. So finally it's 3. Ok, we can click next. We got the message that our project was successfully executed and we can stay in debug for instance to estimate values of any variables or to look into actions or we can exit from the debug. We will exit right now. Click no to exit from debug. Let's change our action for instance do low count. We won't change this value. Keep it the same and run debug again. So now it's gonna be like 1 minus value here. So 1 minus 2. Let's run debug. Ok, as you can see, value of counter now, minus 1. It was 1 minus 2 equal minus 1. So we can stop debug. It seems very simple and unuseful right now, but trust me, we'll use it very often with loops. So it's gonna be very useful. Thank you for watching, bye!